Hi. Hi. I'm Dylan Nellis. Um, I'm in the Visual Academy. I'm in 12th grade, and in Hairspray, I played Amber Von Tussle. Hi, my name is Aviva. I am in the Theater Academy. I am a senior, and I play Tracy Turnblad. Hi, my name is Sophia DeReeder. I'm a junior in the Music Academy, and I played Penny Pendleton. Hairspray, honestly, there was just so many different things on it. There were so many different meanings. There was just, you know, the meaning of unity and the meaning of, like, you know, there were still issues in Hairspray that were still happening today, like, you know, racism and body shaming, and it kind of brought it to light, and, like, the audience can just see, yo, this is still happening today. With, um, the biggest meaning is just, you know, if you want something, you put your mind to it, you can do it. And, you know, Tracy, like, being big, she got into a show where, like, Usually it's skinny, you know, white girls playing it. And she got in because she put her mind to it and she put herself out there. When you put yourself out there and get out of your comfort zone, you can achieve anything. My character was Amber, like I said, and she is the mean B word, basically, in the show. <laughs> And that's not who I am at all. I mean, <laughs> I know usually I'm just like the happy little girl, but um, so yeah, I had to transform myself and it was difficult at times because, you know, I, I want to be nice, but I have to be so mean. Um, and so by talking with Mr. Golden, I discovered that my character isn't just mean to be mean. Um, she actually... She wants to help people, actually, but her way of helping people is by being mean. And she is rude to those who don't fit in the norms of white, skinny, perfect Barbie doll cutout. And that's all she's been striving to be her whole life. And so that's just the way she was raised. When people aren't what she expects them to be, she tries to help them be like her. Me playing Tracy, it was, you know, at first I felt it was very hard for me. It was very hard for me, you know, getting into the role and doing the lines because, you know, Tracy is so, like, has such a bubbly personality and is so, like, hopeful and everything. And sometimes I have an opposite mindset of that. Okay, it's just, you know, it's just like a thing. But, you know, um, I was looking at videos of Hairspray and I was looking up, like, Tracy Turnblad in the original Broadway cast in the movie and, like, Tracy was so giddy and excited and it was just, like... I've never played that because I've always played, you know, like big, like big women roles where it's just like, you know, like they're mother figures. And I've never played a mother, I've never, I've always played mother figures. So when I was, you know, the child figure, it was very difficult. But as I got into more character, I started to see myself in Tracy. And I saw like her determination to do things. Because, you know, like Tracy, I've also been body shamed for my weight in my dance school, at my, um, at my other school, like, it just happened a lot, and so I kind of just connected with her. And once I found that connection, I thought it was overall easier. At first, I really wanted to be Penny. And then I had my heart <laughs> set, <laughs> I know, I had Whoa. my heart set on that role. And then, Mr. Sachs and Miss Bruno, I guess, they saw something in me for Amber. And I was a little shocked because I was like, Amber, how could you see me as that, you know? But then I realized, I could do it, and so I went for it, and I realized that Amber was the role for me. I think I would have done a much better job as Amber than I would have Penny. Um, and the audition process was a little nerve-wracking. I sang notes that were higher than I usually sing, um, and in the acting callbacks, I got nervous because maybe I didn't do a specific acting choice that someone else did, and I started doubting myself, but honestly, the, the casting people, they know what they want, so, mm -hmm. yeah. You're my favorite Amber to work with, by far. Oh. When I was in the audition, and I was just like, damn, that's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's funny is that they actually called me back for Amber. Oh my god. So, oh. That was what I first Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay. Can you imagine if the roles were reversed? That'd be so That's cool. my fear. I can't imagine, like, not playing anyone other than, like, my best friend in this, anything. Yeah. I know. It, I can't imagine it either, but that's what I was, like, originally called back for. Um, and I really liked, you know, her song. It was just really fun to sing, but the role just didn't feel like me. And then they were like, just try Penny, you know, give it a shot. And that was really nerve-wracking because I felt like everyone else, there was a lot of people reading for Penny, yeah. and they're all mm -hmm. really good. And I felt like it came down to three of us, and they 
flat out told us, they were like, we don't, it's none of you right now. Like, we're gonna have to like keep searching for other people. And that was so nerve wracking. Cause I was like, well, none of us are it. Then what, what's gonna happen? So after that, we kind of all had to like bring our A game. Um, mm -hmm. We all like kind of figured like, we one of us has got to do it. You know what I mean? Um, and apparently, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't expect to get it at all. Like the when the cast list came up, I started crying because I just didn't even believe it. I was in such disbelief. I really liked. Um, I liked all the times where I got to have a spaz on it stage. Takes two. <laughs> so it takes two. And actually, you can't stop the beat too. Even though I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like it at first, <laughs> but I I liked it a lot in the end because it allowed me to just play with my character. It, I didn't have specific instruction from my director. Um, so it was whenever Amber was super, super angry because she didn't get what she wants. And when Amber doesn't get what she wants, she's gonna throw a fit. So I would just full out like pouting um, or like screaming stomp. at my mom, stomping, grabbing onto Link's leg, climbing up his leg, kicking my legs, just throwing a full on tantrum. And I think that was so fun. Okay, um, I have two, one of them is like a weird one, but okay, the first one is probably I Can Hear the Bells, because it's completely out of my comfort zone. It's like the only, it's like me, I guess I never, I've never acted, like in that sense, like where like I'm madly in love with someone, unless it's like Aquaman, but, <laughs> Jason Momoa, but like, I'm just kidding, but no, 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 it's like me like being like, <laughs> like me yeah. like being like that craziness like it's that like that's that was like something like the singing was awesome like that was like my, but my also I think my favorite was without love you know the <laughs> scene in jail and not because like I like did that but because I got to growl and I showed like I don't want to say it's like a freaky side of me <laughs> and I'm not a freaky person but like I <laughs> stop <laughs> I just I like to be I liked being able to show Aviva in like without love when I was like doing like the hip rolls and I was like grabbing and like yeah, it was just fun and like the it was just really I really liked without love it that was my favorite. It's so magical being on stage mm -hmm. and I definitely respond to the audience's responses. Yeah. So Amber's a very funny character as well as being mean. Um, so I would say things and hear them laugh. And that told me, okay, they like this. They so like the what I'm night. doing. So the next night, yeah. I would like emphasize yeah. that line a little bit more or something like that to get more laughs and just play with the responses. It was fun. This was the first show that I actually didn't get nervous for, really, at all. I just got really, really excited. Because, like, my character gets to just go crazy on stage and be stupid. <laughs> and just, like, go all out. So I never really was nervous. I was just like, all right, how crazy can I look today? And it just made me really excited. So that was super fun. I had to really take care of my health during Hairspray because, um, Everyone actually, the whole cast was getting sick and over and over and over, and I Me got too. sick about three times throughout the rehearsal process, which is more than usual. And so I got really scared because I did not want to be sick by the time of the show. So, um, like a month before the show, I said I'm not eating any sweets. So I stayed off sweets. I made sure to get seven or eight hours of sleep per night. I would go home, not do my homework, and just do my homework during school Dylan, time. Dylan. I, do my I get it done, I promise. I get my homework done. Okay. I just do it during school and not at home. So that way I can get sleep. Okay. Yeah, so you know, you gotta make a system for yourself in order to maintain your health. I started acting here, honestly. I, I didn't really do much acting, but I, I kind of did some acting at um, this program I do called Broadway Dreams, but it was mostly musical theater. I mean, I've done dancing for 10 years and I've done singing for 10 years. So my dancing and singing are, you know, in the bag, but my acting has always been needing something I had to work on. So I never knew what a monologue is until I came to this school, and I came in 10th grade. So I like transfer here from a different school and I was very new to everything, but I got comfortable and then I joined the Theater Academy. Thank God I joined Theater Academy. Because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't have done Hairspray. And you know, um, I like, yeah, I just, I, I pretty much started here and I've grown here. I mean, I, I took some classes um, here and there. My main focus though was on my voice and on singing and on music. Um, so coming here, I originally was in the Theater Academy 
Um, so I took theater classes and stuff like that, and that was really different for me, but it was super fun. And I'm so glad I did it because I really improved just as a person in general. Um, then I, I did switch academies in the end, but uh, that, that wasn't anything against theater, you know. That, it, it's fun in both academies. Um, but I think really I started getting my training here, which I'm really thankful for. <coughs> That's cool. Um, I've been doing musical theater since I was nine, so I've been in a lot of shows. Um, I guess that's where I really learned to act, but I think most of my growth actually came just from doing Hairspray. Like, mm. I grew exponentially during Hairspray in terms of acting, and I'm really happy for that. Yeah, and despite being in the Visual Academy, I've been kind of a part of the theater. Yeah side of the school since my freshman year with Saga and Thespians and everything. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs>